Good morning everybody, we're bright and early today. This is the last morning here in Napier before we head on off to Gisborne. I'm just waiting for Yen who's doing her makeup in the house. No, I spotted her now. I'm here. I'm good. <laughs> I was just giving the Airbnb one last check. Thank you again, Jill, for a fantastic stay. So we've got a three hour drive now before we get to Gisborne and our first activity is going to be an exciting one. It makes me a little nervous, but you'll find out what it is soon. <laughs> Let's head on out. Three hours and 30 minutes later, we've yeah. arrived at our destination. <laughs> Feeling a little bit sleepy. <laughs> Well, but I'm it's sure okay. you'll wake up soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're pretty excited, as you can see, we're at Dive Tatapori and we're here for a really special encounter with um, stingrays. And the reason why we had to rush here is because you can only do this activity at low tide. They've only got usually one session per day and you've got to book one day in advance as well to be able to do it. But it's a pretty unique experience. I've never seen anywhere where you can actually see stingrays live in the ocean and be able to walk right up to them, touch them and feed them as well. So really excited about it. Can't wait to get into the water. How you feel bud? A little nervous, not so much because of the stingrays but because I heard there's a lot of big fishes too and I'm scared of fishes in the sea. You're scared of bugs, you're scared, scared of fishes. I'm scared of a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I think the stingrays will be okay because I kind of imagine them like sea puppies or something. They look cute. But yeah, but the fishes I don't know so hopefully this will help me overcome my fear. Is anyone else scared of like fishes, fishes in the I, sea? I think it's only you bud. <laughs> Might just be me. Yeah, it's just getting on her. <laughs> trying to. What, what do you call this? Your wader. You're getting onto your wader. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Got our slips and we're getting ready to head out now. Well, we're in the water already. <laughs> yeah, we're expecting to see two different types of rays today. Uh, one's called Eagle Ray and the other called uh, Short Tail. Spotted our first thing, right? Down here. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, okay, what does it feel like? <laughs> Drawing pictures on it. Thank you. Yes. 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 We're gonna try and feed them now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There I always enjoy supporting these activities where we're kind of like playing with the animals in their Out own in natural the wild, habitat. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, $55 if you do want to come here yourself um, and just remember you do need a book in advance. I'll give you a tip as well for if you're wearing clothes make sure you've got something that you can push up and then can go quite high because my whole arm is wet <laughs> sticking it down because my hoodie's a bit too loose. Pretty hungry now so I'm going to go back to Gisborne so and find something to eat. Walking through the Gisborne Town Centre at the moment looking for a place to get a feed. And one thing to know is if you are coming here, quite a few of the restaurants look like they close at about um, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. yeah, and so yeah, got to do a little bit of searching or a little bit of pre-planning, not like us, just <laughs> end up here at a random hours looking for food. But I think we found a place that's called Fusion. Uh, we're going to head over there now and get some food. Yay! So I was not really expecting this, but we found bubble tea. I have a try. It's nice and sweet. Got the nice chewy bubbles. I like. <laughs> I'm satisfied. I can't wait for this mouthful. I'm starving. It's three o'clock. We haven't eaten much all day. A lot of driving. A couple of stingrays and now <laughs> fried rice. Good. Fried rice is nice and salty. Got the little bits of egg in there, and then some crisp from the cabbage as well. Definitely hitting the spot. Because I am freezing from after that stingray feeding, I had to get the only thing that I could find that had um, soup, which is a crispy chicken noodle soup. I don't know why, but that works quite well because I don't normally have um, crispy chicken with a noodle soup dish. But it was really nice because you've got the silky noodles and then the crunch of that chicken, even though it's just been sitting in the soup. It's really good and it's nice and hot, <laughs> which I like too. Reminds me a bit of um, 
Like I don't, KFC. No, no, like like KFC, uh, not KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well. Like Vietnamese or maybe even Cambodian kind of style of noodles and soups, but, but with the fried chicken. <laughs> so, it's good. And we've just arrived at our cute little Airbnb. Yen's made herself home inside, as you can see. Hey bud, do you want to do the room tour? Yeah, sure. Just had a quick look around. <laughs> it's nice and toasty because Janine and Joel has left us on the oil column heater, which I super appreciate. But yeah, this is our room. We're only here for is it two, two nights. nights. Yeah. Something really cool about Kiwi Airbnbs is that often the hosts leave like some treats or some like milk and that sort of thing which is something that we're not that used to when you go to overseas airbnbs especially in like asia and that sort of thing they've got a kettle toaster teas as well which is awesome salt pepper bathrooms on this side you can go check that out nice right here. <laughs> stop hiding <laughs> So it's pretty much everything that you would need for a short stay, I think. Yeah, so no kitchenette, but we don't need that anyway, so that's all good. And it's in a nice little private area too, so just behind there. Yeah, very behind close to town. I think it was a two minute drive there. Yeah, it's quite close and there's also a dairy nearby, which yeah. is handy. And how much did this, this cost This one us? was $95 a night. So Yen and I are going to wrap things up here for today and uh, we're going to continue it on tomorrow but we're not 100% sure what we're doing yet because yeah. it may rain so fingers, fingers crossed, crossed it doesn't. <laughs> okay, we'll see you all tomorrow. Morning everybody, morning. next day and the weather looks pretty good actually. Yeah, it was raining in the morning but it's cleared up, I can hear birds chirping. Yeah, and we're heading over to the Gisborne Railbike Adventure and this is another one of those unique things that Yen found this time around. Yes, it's gonna be a four hour cycle on a railway, old railway track, no trains there, <laughs> with coastal views. So hopefully it's as amazing as it sounds. So we've just arrived and we've got our bikes. We've got the standard bikes, there's you. Yes, I kind of regret not getting the other bike because we just heard that there's a hill. Apparently you don't need a steer or anything, uh... you just need a pedal. So the track is 32 kilometers in total, 16 there, 16 back. That's a bit of a long ride <laughs> and uh, we managed to get this for $70 which is an out of lockdown special. Yeah, normally no. it would be 90 You can get e-bikes as well, $20 more, but we've chosen to go for standard bikes. We want that extra morning exercise. Peter wanted that <laughs> extra morning exercise. So it's only been like, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of uh, brisk cycling and uh, Yen told me a little secret. <laughs> I said that my legs were tired. <laughs> I haven't done exercise in far too long. <laughs> this is a little bit of a workout for me. Uh, about 40 minutes in, you do have a Portaloo stop, which is handy. It's yeah. the last one before coming back, I think. Do you yeah. want to say? Uh, we're a little bit worried about this thing called the Assault, which is coming up <laughs> next. This is a guided tour, by the way, and another piece of information that you'll need to know is there's no kids allowed under the age of 13. This is really cute. This is Yen uh, uh, Go Hard mode. <laughs> and it's not even good. We just need to close a bit of our gas. It is a bit tiring. So we've hopped off our tandem bikes for now and have walked a couple of meters to check the scene out. <laughs> So there are four of these destroyed tracks around the loop and which is why the railway has not bothered to repair it because it's exceptionally expensive. But it is why we get to have rail bikes, which is yeah. awesome. These were all destroyed by a weather bomb. A weather bomb in 2012. Yeah, that's was. right. I've got the Vegemite and chip sandwiches. <laughs> I remember why I made them fresh in the morning. Because the chips get soggy? Yeah, because if you make them, <laughs> the chips are soggy. It's okay, they're still good though. <laughs> We're getting ready to head back now. Mm -hmm. 
Yin and I have just passed the tunnels and we're on our way back now. This was my favorite bit because now it's the descent. <laughs> but no, actually the tunnels were super cool. I really liked it. One tip for you if you are um, scared of the dark sort of thing is to look back while you're cycling. It is pitch black, like you can't see anything. It's kind of scary if but you are moving. scared of the dark though. So it's been good to support this business in particular. Uh, we were just listening to Jeff and he was saying that they were hit pretty hard um, from the pandemic. So yeah, Kiwis and anyone visiting come out and try this activity it is stunning scenery everywhere you go and a lot of fun a lot of fun that's right here with jeff the owner and uh, we just finished that ride it was an awesome ride Yay. awesome experience <laughs> and we hit a bit of nose wind so my knees are feeling a little bit jelly my legs at the are feeling it too. <laughs> it was um, a and jeff there's no um signage here but you got some signage on your back right mate <laughs> yeah here pete yeah thanks very much here you go so look out for Gisborne Rail Bike Adventures and if you want to do this we'll leave all the details down in the description below. Awesome. Thank you Jeff. Thanks Thank you. guys. <laughs> Great of you to come along. Thank you. So the weather forecast says it is supposed to rain in a couple of hours time but we figured we would squeeze in one more final stop and that is Kaiti Hill. We got recommended this place by a local that we met yesterday and she was saying that there's panoramic views of Gisborne which should be pretty awesome to see. So I've already made it up onto the top but uh, somebody's still trailing back behind there. Hey, hey how are you going bud? <laughs> After all that cycling these steps are killing my legs. But thank goodness it looks like the view is worth it. So Kaiti Hill is also known as um, Titirangi Hill. <laughs> I think it was. Are I you need sure? to double check that. <laughs> what did you find over here, bud? I was just reading about a story here, looking back and looking forward. So for Tangata Whenua, which are the original inhabitants of the land, if they face towards Te Kuri Cliffs, then they're able to see the past and the ancestors that have passed before them. But then if they face towards Turanganui Akiwa, the township there, then they're able to ponder about the future, which I thought was quite a nice story. And that wraps up our vlog here from Gisborne. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have doing the activities. <laughs> yeah, it's been a whole bunch of really unique things. I've really enjoyed the cycling and the stingray. They're both fantastic. Give it a try if you're looking for something fun and different to do as well. Yeah, and uh, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. Drop us a comment. We love hearing from you guys. It's getting pretty windy up here. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there are actually some rain clouds forming right behind us over there. Approaching us fast. Tomorrow we're going to head over to Rotorua and we're super excited because we've got some other exciting things planned from over there too. What do we have? Redwood climb at night time. Oh. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next vlog. See ya. See ya.